Welcome back to the Vice Squad. Adam Hortonberry here. Um, it's been a while since we did some videos, but we're back. Um, majority of the videos I'm going to be doing are going to be quicker flies. You, um, not necessarily all easy, but just quick ones. This one is a saltwater pattern. Um, it's not my pattern by any means, but it's um, it's a bloodworm that I saw Joe Cordero uh, with flat wing uh, fly fishing on Instagram or something like that. I'll have it linked. But uh, I saw him do it at a show, and I love the flat wing, and the blood worms are cool too. Striped bass are in, in New England. And yeah, I'm sure they work for bass. I'm sure trout would eat this too, why not? Um, but real quick, um, just wanted to run the links to the um, shopping websites. I don't have them on hand, but I'll have them edit them into the screen right now. And I want to thank the sponsors, Anadromis and Fly Life Company. All right, let's tie it up. <clears throat> For a hook, you're just going to want a one aught or a two aught saltwater hook. I think this is an eagle claw. Um, you just want a strong, strong little hook. Start a little thread base. I'm using red UTC uh, 140 scissors and a dramas. <clears throat> and then we're gonna do bucktail first. Uh, for this blood worm, you can do uh, like a pink or a red or an orange. Um, best one I, best bucktail I had closest to what I wanted to rock was a. Uh, this pinky sherbet -y look to it. So you don't need a lot. Just take out a little pinch of it. That's about how much I'm going to do. Go right there. And you want it to like flare out kind of like a broom handle. You don't want it to go all the way around. Up, oh, just enough. Yeah. Wouldn't be a fly tank video without that happening. You could even pump this up to uh, gel spun so this doesn't happen to you. And then use a thinner diameter for the head to finish it off. But uh, yeah, it's always good to show you how to come back in and fix your problem when you make this kind of an error, which we all do. So I'm not gonna put that much tension to it. I've been tying bigger flies all day, so I'm used to cranking on it, so. I'm just gonna clean that up once I set it in there. You want it to display out like that, just and give you that nice um, broom look, so that your feathers don't uh, don't foul on you. So for the so the support, I'm going to use this reddish, orangey. You can use anything. I just like that that modeling in there for me. Um, I got this at a fly fishing show, so I don't know if you're going to be able to find this exact color, but she used something for. You know, some of your liking. I just like the barring in it. I think it looks cool. Now, generally, you want to put a little dubbing or something down so your feathers don't spin, which I might. Or you can use um, like a synthetic dubbing wax too to hold them, hold them in play a little better. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna do that though. And then for the main accent feather of this blood worm, I'm using this uh, beautiful flat wing saddle by uh, 
Cordero flat wing. I'll have him link everything in there for you guys because um, it's important to support this dude. He um, He's really, really cool, him and his son. Um, I learned a lot from him at the fly fishing show recently. And yeah, you pay it forward, support him and what he's doing. Now with the flat wings, I like to leave the, the like marabou -y look to it. I think it kind of helps, helps in keeping that feather straight for you because that's what you want. Look at my sample real quick, hang on. It doesn't hurt to get a sample and kind of see. For flash, I'm gonna be using crystal flash and copper. Um, sparse is best on a flat wing in my opinion. But do what you want. If you wanna add a bunch, add a bunch. But I think it helps in the action of the fly if you keep it a little on the sparser side. So I'm just going two strands. I'm gonna double them over. Actually, I'm not gonna double them over. I'm just gonna go two strands on this. And then what I'm gonna do is just wrap that back just a tiny bit onto itself and then trim that so that those lock in nice for us. I'm gonna do two sets of flash in this fly. Cause I'm gonna add another feather on top. Blood worms and cinder worms really aren't huge. So you wanna keep it around the four inch max, but I'm just adding a little, um, a little kicker to this one. One, two, cinch. Don't break it. Clean it up. And there we go. Okay, now we're gonna add some uh, sparkle braid. I'm also gonna use copper on that. Tie that in. Then I'm gonna also pick a hackle. For the, uh, for the body on the worm. trying to find a good one. Just palmer that up. Now 
like to leave a tiny bit of a gap up front for a head. Trim the excess off, save it for another one. We're just gonna palmer that. Now I probably would have picked one with a little bit longer barbel, but this is gonna do just fine for the demonstration. Still looks like a worm. Pinch that off. Wrap back over. Come right in, clean it up. Get rid of that. Build up a little head up here. Oh, I also would trim the flash just a little bit. If you had any sticking out, you can leave it long too. If you're using flashable, leave it a little longer. It looks cool. I would suggest adding head cement or like a zap or something to the to the head of this pattern. Just so you get a, um, yeah, so you protect the longevity of them. I'm going to add the flow to it. I stopped using uh, bone dry because I had allergic reaction to it. So just be careful with your uh, synthetics or your resins rather. Where is my light? Here it is. Hit it with the light. There's our cinder worm, blood wormy looking flat wing. Um, yeah, check out Joe. Um, check out his his ha hackles he's gonna have this summer. Tie up some flat wings. You can fish them for bass and trout and everything. There's no there's no end. You know. Tie up a couple, fish them. Let me know what you guys think. Again, check out the sponsors, check out the, uh, the shopping sites listed. Um, we appreciate your support. If there's any videos you wanna see, if there's any new patterns you saw me do before, hit me up, let me know so I can start making videos for them. And we appreciate your support. Thank you.